Hi, my name is Dayan Kass. I'm a final year business and management student and I'm currently running for the ethical and environmental officer role. Um, I have an uh, experience of leadership and I believe that this is a fantastic role for me to be involved with because um, environmental issues uh, set me on fire and I believe that getting involved with these, getting involved in this role will help me to um, help me um, develop my skills but as well as um, develop the skills of the, the student population. Um, so the three things that I want to do when I'm officer is number one, create a community um, where students, the university as well as external organisations come together so that we can discuss and work on environmental issues together. Um, number two, I'd love to run campaigns and workshops where we can tackle environmental issues and also show people that, you know what, environmental issues are a thing that is going to affect us in the future but that we can do things now that can actually prevent these things or actually, you know, reduce the effects of it. And lastly, I'd like to um, support um, fundraising and charity events for environmental issues. Thank you. Hello, my name is Sahib. I'm an international student here at BCU. I'm doing masters in international business. So I straight away come to the point for environmental issues, which I have written in my manifesto. First, uh, on the first day of my university, I observed that there is so much food wastage in the university. Like uh, in my first day, I have seen so much food in the table and they just put it on the bin just like that. So my first issue is that to minimize the food wastage and to measure the food wastage and put on a screen or something like that. So all the students should see that how much they can food wastage in a day. So my first is measure the food wastage, how we can reduce the food wastage in the university. I'm not going uh, around uh, like a big thing because it, it is a good, it, it is good. But first I need to think about my university that what problem my university right now facing about the environmental. So uh, my tagline is that, uh, yeah, environment is able to fulfill our need, but it's not able to fulfill our greed. So this is my tagline for this campaign. Hi, I'm Nona and I'm running for the LGBT plus officer. Um, I've been on the committee for the LGBTQ plus society for three years. So I've got quite a lot of experience. Um, the top three things I would do was to get better visibility from both staff and students throughout all campuses, fostering a, an environment where people feel comfortable to express their identity and sexuality. Um, I'd want a greater focus on LGBT History Month for the Student Pride and events running throughout the month, collaborating with other stu student groups um, across the campuses. And I'd also want to provide transgender and gender non-conforming students a confidential space um, which can offer support and guidance um, with any problems they might be facing um, at university. Thank you. Um, so I believe that the biggest challenge if I was elected into this role is actually getting um, a vast uh, number of students involved with environmental issues because I believe like sometimes there's only like a certain type of people that are actually interested in environmental issues. That's why I want to be there and be representative of a vari variety of different people so that, that, and host different events and run different workshops to show that no there's actually different ways you can get involved and environmental issues are actually for, like they can be tackled if you actually like see the different ways and also like show the benefits of getting involved so I'd like to get involved uh, get linked with like graduate plus so to show people that oh you know this can actually help with my employability as well by running campaigns myself yeah thank you so <clears throat> My biggest challenge is that I need to uh, I need to explain all the tutors, all the members of this university to explain students about some of the environmental issues like from observing as in this is my uh, uh, like third week in the university but I observe many things in the university like about electric electricity while in a class they don't switch off the light after going out the class so I need to explain to tutors first to at least some of the bit they like explain to their uh, students to these ethics, these small small ethics first and secondly I need to run a suggestion scheme for all the members, all the students and all the tutors like at least because we are 24,000 students in the university from different different countries so I need to put suggestion scheme like all the students and all the tutors, all the members give at least one suggestion 
around the university to how to save the environment. I think a challenge for the LGBT officer will be um, engaging um, the uh, LGBT community and engaging those not in the LGBT community um, and um, creating kind of a partnership um, between um, the kind of um, student groups and the communities so that um, LGBTQ plus issues aren't just um, focused on just LGBTQ plus and we can actually um, work together. Um, one of the things I really want to do um, as officer would be to work with the BAME community um, because um, the BAME community community don't always um, engage within the LGBTQ plus community for um, various reasons um, and so I think it's really important to um, create that kind of cross collaboration and to work together um, to um, get a better, um, just be better for all students um, whether they're LGBT or not. And the sustainable sustainability project that I think the university should work towards is by um, creating an eco-hub where we can all come together and contribute our different ideas because I'm sure there's a vast number of uh, students who have th their own issues that they'd like to deal with and I believe that creating a space where we can come together and actually work on these issues will actually have a greater impact as we actually develop our skills and then in turn go out there in the real world because we are more than graduates at the end of the day. Thank you. Yeah. Um, my, uh, as for my thinking, I will be more specific. Like in all the classes, I need to put one poster around the switching board. Like, please switch off the lights while after the class, like this. So at least they can see that poster and they like see uh, to switch off the light after the classes. Secondly, I want to run a suggestion scheme of environmental issues. Like all the members of the university at least give one suggestion to how to make environment a better surrounding in, in our surrounding. So this is. I think the best way to integrate LGBT plus students um, within the wider university community is providing visibility, um, whether that's visibility from campaigns that are around university, um, whether it's the rainbow lanyards that um, staff and students are wearing, just as a, as a, just a, a signifier that you know it's okay to be out and, and to be proud and um, to express your identity and your sexuality and to be comfortable. Um, running events through LGBT History Month, um, because I think that's really, really important that the wider university learns about LGBT history um, and understands um, students and understands um, their identities and running in informative campaigns, um, whether it be about um, how to be a good trans ally, um, you know, what to do if someone comes out. We just recently did uh, the coming out campaign um, uh, focusing on um, coming out and things like that. Um, and my third point would be about um, providing the space for um, transgender and gender non conforming students. Um, we just recently um, provided feedback for uh, the uh, transgender policy um, and guidance, which is um, hopefully being put out soon. Um, um, so I think it's just about supporting um, the students and once those students um, feel supported they'll be able to um, integrate um, wider within the community um, and wider within the university um, and that with the strategic plan um, that they can, they can engage and that it's just about letting people know that you know you're welcome here and you're completely valid and that um, LGBT is something that um, spans across, um, across the university and across the campuses really.